Hello guys, welcome to my channel and this time we're here in the beautiful Rome. In Rome you have hundreds of churches, cathedrals and chapels from ancient Roman times till the Baroque period. And uh, so why not start this trip by visiting the largest Marian church in Rome? It's this one here. Beautiful ride. So let's take a look inside. The Basilica Papale di Santa Maria Maggiore is the largest of the 18 Marian churches in Rome. The church was built in 432 on the Esquiline Hill by order of Pope Sixtus III and is one of the seven pilgrimage churches and one of the four papal basilicas in Rome. The basilica was built on a spot where the Virgin Mary appeared in a dream of Pope Liberius and a blanket of snow appeared on the hill on August 5th in the middle of the summer. This day is commemorated each year with white flower petals falling from the ceiling. The golden ceiling seems to be very impressive. Unfortunately, it was too dark to see it. So it's better to visit this church during the day when there is enough light. Well, very nice visit here, unfortunately. It's very dark inside. You cannot see much, but... Uh, Look at the ceiling again and the stained glass window up there, very beautiful, unfortunately too dark to see the ceiling but it's a really nice place here, we saw like the tomb of Bernini and some popes as well, so yeah, very nice. So that was a great visit here. Because the Archie Basilica di San Giovanni and Laterano was closing a lot earlier than this beautiful church right here, we decided to visit the other one first and then return to here, so that's why you can see the time difference. Uh, but what a great visit, unfortunately, like I said before, very dark inside, but it's absolutely worth the visit when in Rome, this beautiful marine church. The largest one in Rome, amazing. And over here we have the Lateran Obelisk, the largest standing ancient Egyptian obelisk in the world, located in front of the Lateran Palace. So when most people visit Rome, they visit the St. Peter's Basilica and skip this church. But uh, actually, this church here is the official cathedral of Rome. And uh, look at this beautiful building. The Archibasilica, the San Giovanni in Laterano. Very nice. Uh, let's see if we can still visit it because it's almost closing time. So let's check it out. The Archibasilica di San Giovanni in Laterano was founded in the year 313 under Emperor Constantine the Great. The basilica is the oldest church building in Rome, but after a severe earthquake in the year 896, little was left of the original. It was not until the year 1650 that the church got rebuilt by the architect Borromini for Pope Innocent X. This is actually one of the most beautiful churches that I have ever been to in my life. Like everywhere you look you can see the frescoes and there in the end you can see the beautiful mosaics, the amazing sculptures decorating the entire church. Look at this. And then the beautiful ceiling wow this is actually an amazing place cannot believe it oh, look at this wow amazing visit here to this church
I couldn't get enough of admiring this basilica, the beautiful frescoes and mosaics that decorate this basilica, especially the main part of the basilica by Francesco Borromini is incredible with the statues of the apostles made by different sculptures. Wow, incredible. So wow, that was a beautiful visit to this church here. And now let's try to visit the Scala Santa. And look at this, the colors, so beautiful. So just next to the Archibasilica de San Giovanni in Laterano, we have the sanctuary of Scala Santa, which is actually one of the most renowned sanctuaries in the Roman Catholic Church and I will show you why so let's check it out together the Scala Santa are a set of 28 white marble steps on which Jesus Christ stepped on his way to trial during his passion in Jerusalem the stairs were brought to Rome by Saint Helena in the 4th century and for centuries the Scala Santa has attracted Christian pilgrims from all over the world who wish to honor the passion of Jesus Christ. Since the early 1700s, the holy stairs have been encased in wood for protection, but were briefly exposed in 2019 following restoration work. So we have been walking a lot now and uh, we get a little bit hungry again, so let's eat some pizza. You want some pizza? Pizza, pizza margarita. <laughs> I prefer another pizza. Let's see what they got there. there. There's only one pizza. <laughs> it's margarita. <laughs> you heard Eve? Is it right? Leave it in the comments below. I'm gonna have a small one because I'm gonna eat enough pizza, I think, here. <laughs> Probably every day. Every day pizza. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> have a nice meal, eh? <laughs> this pizza is amazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm so sad I took a small one, to be honest. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. No. So nice. Mm. Amazing taste. I really approve this uh, place if you want to have some really good pizza. Mm. It's an amazing crust, huh? Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's like a little bit fluffy, yeah. crispy. Mm. The perfect crust. Very good. Mm. Well, after that nice pizza in Trieste, we decide to get another one from here, from Sapore Idelice. So let's eat. And here it is, the other pizza. So delicious. So here we have a piece of, what was it? Nino? Nino. Yeah. And this one I forgot, but it's with spicy sausage, yeah, onion. Yeah. No, it's not that one. Oh. So, uh, yeah, it will be nice, I think. Yummy. Ruby will spit fire. Why, why will I spit fire? Uh, above and under. Uh, because it's so spicy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we, will, we will see. Will I spit fire or not? Mm. Oh yeah, it's spicy. Spicy, yeah. yeah. But for me, it's okay. It's you know perfect. Perfect. Have a good meal, mate. Yeah, have a good meal. So this was it for my trip for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you again next time. Take care. Cheers.